The Honourable Member for Halifax, Needham. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Municipal Affairs. The IPCC report says we need more ambitious action on climate change from every level of government. Here in Nova Scotia, municipalities have been doing their best to be leaders on climate change. Bridgewater is a great example. But municipal leaders say they need more support from the province. The federal government has made millions of dollars available for municipalities for action on climate change, but many of them don't even have the resources to get the applications done. Opportunity is passing us by when we need action now. Can the minister tell us that the upcoming budget will include significant dedicated funds so our municipalities can generate more clean energy, create green jobs, and reduce carbon emissions? The Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, we realize uh, across this province, right across the world, I think about climate change, and we're seeing the effects of those uh, Mr. Speaker, through the changing weather patterns, the intense storms, the sea level rise, uh, our Department of Municipal Affairs, Environment and Energy have been working together with our municipal partners right across this province to better understand the impacts of this, Mr. Speaker, and to identify strategies that uh, we can adapt uh, and help make changes as we need to. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Halifax, Needham. Mr. Speaker, the, min the Minister's answer is disappointing, especially today, when high school students across the province are joining others around the world to protest the lack of government action on climate change. We need to be making serious, specific investments now. The Nova Scotia Federation of Municipalities has an ask on, on his desk that would go a long way to supporting local action on climate change. They are asking for just $63,000 from the province to help fund a staff position focused on sustainability, and that staff person would ensure that municipalities outside of the Halifax area can access federal money. Will the minister, at the very least, commit to funding that position to help Nova Scotia municipalities take action on climate change? The Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank the Honourable Member for a question. We already uh, offer a number of programs that municipalities can access, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we have examples, flood risk infrastructure programs. We have the federal program, which is a national disaster mitigation program, uh, Mr. Speaker, and we continue to work on those. But I'm always open uh, to having conversations with our partners about how we can uh, do better around climate change. It's something this government continues to work on, Mr. Speaker. Uh, she mentioned the upcoming budget. We're quite looking forward to that. And uh, further improving jobs in the economy, Mr. Speaker, and the great things we're doing in the province of Nova Scotia. Thank you.